Hey, what's up guys? Here to bring you another Camtasia Studio tutorial. On my screen, you may recognize this error. It's an error that you get when you attempt to write a file or render a video using Camtasia Studio 2021 and previous versions of Camtasia Studio. I ran into this problem not too long ago and I searched the internet for answers on how to fix this. I was very unsuccessful. A lot of people seemed to not know what they were talking about. One person had said that it's a glitch and you should try outputting or rendering your video in 720p instead of 1080 HD. Which you can try that but most likely you want to output in 1080 so that's not going to help you any. I finally found the solution doing my own research and I would like to present that to you today. What we know about this issue is that Camtasia is unable to write the project. The error is a little misleading because we do not have a project to be overwritten. This is a project that we're creating for the first time. The overall issue is a read and write permission problem with Camtasia Studio. There are two fixes to this issue. We're going to go through them one by one. The first way to fix the issue with the read and write permission that Camtasia Studio is having is to head over to your virus protection program. So, I'm using Avast Free Antivirus. I'm just going to open up the Avast user interface. You might have a different antivirus program, but they all have pretty much the same settings and inner workings. What you want to do is go over to Protection and go to your Core Shields and click on it. And then there's a settings button at the top right here. You're gonna click on that and then click the general tab on the left. Then you want to go to blocked and allowed apps. So click on that tab. And then in the second section, um, you can see I've already added mine, Camtasia Studio 2021. Uh, and that is allowing the executable out of the program files, TechSmith, and the name of the executable. So I've already added it, but for you, you're going to want to go to the Allow Apps button and click on that. And then Add Allowed App, app that will be allowed by Avast, and just click the Select App Path or you can browse through all the apps on your computer and find Camtasia and add it. When you click select app path, you can use the Windows Explorer to navigate to the folder and then navigate to the executable. So for instance, if I was gonna do this, I would hit the C drive and I would go to Program Files, the x86 folder, which is the folder that doesn't contain the x86, oh, I'm sorry, x64. And then you would click on that and look for TechSmith. So there's my TechSmith folder, double click on it. Okay, here's my Camtasia Studio, double click on that. And then add the Camtasia Studio executable. You can also add the Camtasia recorder executable and the legacy cam recorder. This is not required but it can't hurt. Okay since I've already done that I'm not going to add it. I'm going to cancel and close that out. Once you have configured your antivirus to allow blocked apps then restart Camtasia and see if this fix has worked for you. In the second method, you want to navigate to whatever folder it is that Camtasia is trying to write the file to. 
For me, I have a folder dedicated to all my videos and all the videos that I render with Camtasia go into this folder I have. It's called YouTube Prod. Now, all of my files, everything I use to create every video starts at this top level folder and then is structured into individual folders where I can organize my ideas and content. So let's go back to the desktop. Find your shortcut to your folder. Mine here is, it is a Windows folder. This is not a program. I've added a icon to the folder. That's why it looks a little bit different. So right click on the icon itself. And go to properties. And then go over to the security tab. And in this screen, it shows you groups or usernames. What this is, is the groups and users that have access to this folder. That means access to read and access to write. As you can see, um, this, this is my main user for the computer and it's highlighted. Once it's highlighted, you can look at the permissions box and you can see that there's a check mark inside of all of these options. The only one you need is full control. The rest of them are just to set individual permissions. In this case, you would go through each item and see that it has access. Okay, so if the group or the user does not have full control, or at least the right permission, it's not going to be able to write that file when you render it. So we need to edit the permissions for the users. So highlight the user that you know you're logged in with. Go to the edit button and then you will have the option to uncheck and check these permissions. I would just give full control if you want to specifically separate out the permissions and give individual access for each type of permission then you could just scroll down and go hit the this is the one I'm concerned with and it has full control already but for you you may not have given it full control so you're gonna have to do that manually by checking in the box hitting apply and then hitting OK. If you found this information useful, please consider taking a look at our other Camtasia Studio tutorials inside of the Camtasia Studio playlist. Links are below. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment below, rate this video, and subscribe for more content.